Okay, Highlander fans, this arrived today, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. It is the Highlander the Board Game, which was on Kickstarter. So, I cracked it open from the back side just because I had all that paperwork stuff on the front. Um, okay, so, everything's still wrapped. Um, from the back end, the packaging looks awesome. It's by River Horse Games. Um... And this here is the main game, Highlander the board game, from what I can tell, there's Iman Fazil, there's the Geisha character, I'm not familiar with who she is, Connor, Kurgan, Ramirez, There's the, oh, I think that's the Aztec character. And then that, I believe, is Castigear. So that's what comes in the main core game itself. We'll set that aside. Then I believe these are the uh, stretch goals. Yeah, the Princess of the Universe expansion. And it has various other characters in there. Um, so that's the expansion set, and then in the package itself comes, okay, these were additional stretch goals, the monk, there's a pugilist and a pacifist, one's like a proto version, uh, I believe, uh, of one of the expansion characters, or no, here he comes, there's two different models, there's, uh, for the monk, and I guess the, but anyway, those, that's what came in the box itself, set that aside, and this is pretty much what characters look like. They have a slot for an ally and a slot for a weapon. So this is what you would have in front of you and this would let you know what immortal you're playing. Okay, so I've gone ahead and unwrapped the core, core game itself uh, and I'm gonna unbox this so I can take a look at what's inside. Okay, so you have a set of dice here, uh, looks like some D8s, some D12s, D10s, D4s, and D6s. So it uses all the die types pretty much, except for D20s. Um, interesting. Uh, over here are the cards, which I'm assuming represent everything. There you go, Claymore. So it's probably the weapon. You probably get to choose what kind of weapon. Uh, I'm liking the artwork and the visuals. It looks nice. Um, the characters. I'm trying to focus in on that. They're pretty detailed. They look nice. No complaints. look really good. Now those of you that follow my videos on the Highlander card game will notice that this is a Mako Weedle, an Aztec weapon. I've been trying to uh, push for that to be made into a weapon of choice in that game, but so far been unsuccessful. So that's pretty much it. I don't think there's... Oh! Tokens! That's a surprise. There's all kinds of tokens. Those look like heads taken, maybe, or quickenings. Uh, not sure about the bigger ones up top. There's only one set of those. This is like your little board. Has the arena section. 
has the gathering section of the board and then over here is the fate section nice and then on the flip side you have encounter hunt explore the encounter deck if you are alone in this space upgrade your influence die era lay low explore the arrow deck if you are alone in this space upgrade your influence die it says up here turn order start of the turn then actions then dueling then end of turn arena fate it says duel during the duel phase all immortals in the arena roll power the immortal that rolls highest draws a fate card any immortal moved here discards their initiative token and then weapon so I guess you can probably change your weapon as the game progresses because I think the game takes you through the gathering itself uh, as you're going down through the centuries trying to be the last one and these are the character cards for the core game so here you have Connor McLeod that's what the back looks like and Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez oh that's interesting they did not use Sean Connery they have some random guy who's dressed like him I mean he looks good still as Ramirez but not Sean Connery which shocks me They have Iman Fazil, as known as the Knight. They have Victor Kruger, the Kurgan. They did use Clancy Brown's face, and they did use uh, Christopher Lambert. They also have the gentleman who played Castigear on here. And these are some of the expanded characters. Naminaga Minamoto, the ghost. The most beautiful girl you'll never see, it says. She's beguiling. That's the geisha character. Okay, and I believe this is the Aztec character, Talia, the goddess. Her quote is, he gets cash and coke, I get blood and gold. So I guess she's like a drug dealer type character. That's interesting. So, that's it for the core set. Um, obviously, you have your rules, rule book. And I like how they did the cover. It looks like a movie. Very interesting. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Um... I love the imagery, I love the way they set it up, um, kind of covers the basic rules, so I'll get to that later, but otherwise I like it, River Horse did an excellent job here, just on the production value of the game, here's the expansion pack, let me open this up, I should have pre-opened. expansion set so with the course set add one two three four five six seven immortals and then the expansion well in the box there were two additionals seven eight uh -huh. 7, 8, 9, math are hard, and then here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 additional characters. That's quite a few characters here. Oh, okay, they have alternate versions of some of the characters. Because here's Russell Nash, 
not Connor McLeod, the Highlander. This is Russell Nash, the Highlander now. Alternate version. Like it? Ooh, Vincent Smythe, the laissez faire Zulu, aka Castigear. This was during the party back in the uh, 1700s, I think, that they had during the flashback of that original movie. Iman Fazil the Knight. Oh, wow. Looks like he was a Templar of some type in the Middle East back in the day. Okay, so the Prince of the Universe is basically alternate versions of the original main characters. Relentless Victor Kruger. Okay, I see. Ooh. Ikemusek the Peacock, a.k.a. Ramirez. That as a Egyptian back in the day. Then the geisha, Amy Gray, the ghost. So that's her modern version. Oh, that's Talia's. Uh, I guess. That must be her ancient version, because she's all feathered with the skull mask. Nice. So, there you have it. Um, here are the cards. Although, I don't know if I want to go through every single card in here. Um, just wanted to kind of do an opening of this. Uh, that's a pretty thick stack of cards there. It looks like it's at least 150 cards, maybe. Uh, not quite sure on the thickness or anything for them, but... Let's see if I can open these real quick, at least thumb through them, so you can get an idea of the quality of the cards. Okay, so here are some of the cards. Ooh, if you see that in the in the shine there, that's good quality. That's I mean that's a waxed card. It's like a poker card type of quality, so that you could play with it, not necessarily needing sleeves. Although I will sleeve all this just to make sure they're well taken care of. But there's your claymore, twin blades. Muckweedle, Toledo Salamanca, Scimitar, Monstrous Blade, that's the Kurgans, Ivory Katana, and then there's Events, Honorable Duel, Ambush, Hunting the Predator. I love how they took scenes right out of the movies. Conflict. Huh. That's interesting. It's like it has minor characters that you can have conflicts against. That looks really interesting. Boss the Emperor. Wow, this looks really interesting. It's like they put a lot of thought into how this game was going to run. Totally look forward to playing this. Perhaps I can do a video on how the actual gameplay is for this game. I think you can still contact River Horse and just purchase it direct from them without having to. Ooh, life. So you can take a soldier's life, or live a thief's life, or a life of work. This is interesting. So you get to kind of choose the aspects of your character as time goes on. And 
There's a behead card. Immortal or immortals that rolled lowest in the duel are beheaded. Wow. That's interesting. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's pretty much it for the opening of the Highlander, the board game. Um, all the pieces out here. Um, definitely glad I got in on this Kickstarter. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to learn, at least. So I'll get everything organized and uh, see if I can get a group of people together to play this so we can test it out for you and let you know how it plays. Other than that, I will talk to you later. Bye.